Hello everyone, my name is Joel and welcome back to Tomba Towers, another tutorial video. So, uh, last time we were talking about scheduling and stuff, and I thought, you know what, we should do something a bit different, something a bit more interesting, I mean, a bit more useful, I think. Um, how to emulate, well, rather make the original games even better, I should say. So, I'm using Nestopia for a start, which is a pretty good uh, Nintendo emulation. Uh, and most uh, Nintendo emulations should have the same sort of options, but we'll be using this one as an example anyway. So first you go into options and video, and we're going to make sure the game looks as pretty as possible with what we have. First off, mode, you want to put this to 920 by 1080 or any resolution option you have. And the second step, this is the big one, change the filter to uh, HQX, but we can go through these one by one. This one just makes it really blurry and weird, so we're not going to worry about that. Scale X doesn't really do much. Let's just see the differences. Um, it just looks like slight edge improvement. It's not great. Then we have 2X SAI, which one makes it pretty blurry even. But the HQX is the best one. It basically cell shades all the pixels, and you can see it's so much smoother. It's very pretty. So that to that. And we go into settings, and we can improve it by putting on scaling to 4 and billionaire interpolation, which also improves it. You could also do some more complicated stuff, like changing the hue and saturation and brightness and uh, contrast. So if you wanted to, you could make it like really dark looking. You make it look a lot creepier than the game really was. Though I wouldn't worry about that, and uh, screen curvature I wouldn't really worry about either. Um, you could actually manually change the uh, the palette if you so wish, but that's n not much point in that. Um, and you could also use uh, these different little palettes down here as well, but again, not really worth changing. So that's how you make the game as pretty as you can. There's not much else we can do beyond this, but you can see that the text is so much smoother and it's very pretty. I do love this. It, it makes a classic game look very, very unintentionally stylized, which is fantastic. Uh, the center will always have sort of a um, very pixely look, but it will try and smooth it out where it can. But the outsides will always be a lot smoother than they were originally, anyway. So we'll just change that one one more time. Yeah, as you see, the center is smooth slightly, but not entirely. Uh, I keep forgetting you can't see my mouse, but fine, it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, we'll just quickly change to some other games to give you another example. I got Dig Dug and Legend of Zelda One. So we'll just quickly go to Dig Dug so you can see the text change. Uh, so very, very smooth here. And we'll just go back to the original. <laughs> a big difference. We'll just go back to HQX again. Okay, I'm waiting for the demo to show up. <laughs> Come on, demo. Let's go, demo. There you go. Okay, now we'll just switch that to, uh, to standard. <laughs> Much different game looking. Um... This one's sort of hit and miss, uh, because it's so arcadey, you might want to just, just keep it the way it used to be, but, you know, that's up to you. Then we go to Zelda 1, we'll just look at the menu. As you can see, very smooth, very nice. But if we switch that back to the way it is, very pixely. It doesn't look as nearly as nice. I do love the, the smoothened out text, although it looks a little bit wobbly there, and I'm pretty sure that's just a bit of a... Yeah, it's a bit of a dodge formatting, but that's that's fine. It's still a lot better than the way it was. Just realize that, you know, doing this, um, I keep saying cell shading. It's not really cell shading, is it? It's more like cell morphing or something. Um, he's got to make most things look better, but some things you just can't make better with the smoothing like this. So it's really hit and miss, and, you know, it really depends on the game you're playing, you know, but hopefully most of the time you'll have a good experience with it. Anyway, I've spread this longer, long enough, so thank you very much for watching, and um, I will be making more emulation videos on how to, you know, emulate some, you know, more difficult things to emulate, you know, um, uh, N64, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2 sort of stuff, uh, and maybe I'll go over, like, GBA um, and uh, uh, SNES, though I don't really have any games to SNES right now. Uh, as another example to sort of see um, what we can do to improve the graphic. Uh, PS2 is definitely one that I want to do because it's actually quite difficult to get the game to run properly on PC emulation. So, you know, that one's pretty hit and miss as well. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this, leave a like and, you know, leave a comment, maybe subscribe if it's your fancy. And uh, please do check out our other videos if you're so inclined. 
Thank you very much, and I'll see you later.